double up. Champion. Yes, sir. Let me uh, turn this thing down here a little bit, right? So that uh, society can actually hear us, if you will. <laughs> Stagnation. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brazen. Double O in his house. Let's rock it. Hey, listen, man. Here is what is happening. We just jump right into the situation. Uh, wait, I'm on the wrong. Okay, here we go. The button is going to work now. The way they wrote this title is complicated, so I'm just going to read it as a normal sentence. You know what I mean? U.S. lawmakers ask uh, these three or four uh, mining companies for some information. Information about Bitcoin mining energy consumption. Okay, this is the Committee on Energy and Commerce. Okay, they wrote a letter to essentially, let's see, um, Miners Core Scientific, that's a mining company, Riot, Marathon, and Stronghold. Essentially asking them, what is your energy consumption? So he says, the four biggest US based mining operations, Core Scientific, Marathon Digital Holdings, Riot Blockchain and Stronghold and Stronghold Digital Mining get a letter from the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. The committee wants to know about their energy usage and how each company is mitigating those impacts and what steps are being taken to ensure their operations do not strain the energy grid or undermine the nation's climate goals. The nation's climate goals. What are the nation's climate goals? Was it not like zero emissions by 2030? Zero emissions is a false. It's a fallacy. Okay. All right. Zero emissions so is impossible. You know, hey, you know what I mean? We don't want to call it a false activity, but let's call it an alternative truth, as they would like to put it. <laughs> <laughs> now, it goes on to say, is this a teachable moment or signs of things to come? Are these uh, miners prepared for the task? I would say they are. Um, could interest from the government actually be a positive sign for the sector <laughs> i think or, so you think, I think so? it's an opportunity i think it's Why an opportunity you, you think it's an opportunity okay yes we'll, we'll talk about it after this paragraph here or are they tightening up measures tightening up measures to attack the bitcoin mining industry why core scientific mar uh, marathon riot and stronghold why you know why the specific people why now does it have to do with blackrock giving mining uh, the green light or does it have to do with severe sanctions against tornado cash go ahead double o. Man, that was a lot man you can attack this from hey. multiple angles but they say that in any situation you find yes but they say in any situation that you find yourself there's right. always an opportunity there is the number one opportunity is to prove and declassify or what you call it the uh just basically change the topic that yes. Bitcoin is damaging the environment. Because we all know that mm -hmm. at this point in time, the Bitcoin mining situation is mostly done with renewable, re renewable energy and to Absolutely. the point that they're actually now working with several uh, oil plants and manufacturing plants and even coal plants yeah. to better dispense of the carbon that they put into the space, right? Uh, so that's, 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 that's a major opportunity for those companies, uh, I will say I'm a little bit biased with BlackRock because I'm an investor with Black, uh, with uh, I mean not BlackRock, with Riot, because mm -hmm. I have bought a lot of Riot stocks. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do think it's an opportunity for them to change that um, that common knowledge or the com the common news that's out in the public that Bitcoin mm -hmm. is bad for the environment. And the way they respond, actually, I think it should be a good opportunity for them to actually blast all, all over media. To say, okay, this is exactly how we mine Bitcoin, and this is mm -hmm. why we are more efficient than even fiat itself. So it's the way they play this that actually matters. I see where you're coming from. <clears throat> well, here's here's my take on the situation, right? I'll look at it at this angle. Um, last year, we know that there were some hearings, or was it mm -hmm. this year? There were some hearings in in, uh, in Congress LNA. where they had they had um, miners coming at one point, they had other crypto mm -hmm. companies coming. And I remember uh, during one of those hearings, uh, the Bitcoin Mining Council, I believe it's called, put yeah. out this uh, spreadsheet that had information on um, energy usage of Bitcoin mm -hmm. and how it compares to various other things, right? We have seen those charts over and over, right? It's, you know, it's, you can, it's not even difficult to find one. I'm going to show you one after I this. I we have a couple of videos on that as well. 
we also have a couple of videos on that so please definitely check him out we should link him i will link him mm-hmm. after this um so i think the idea that they don't know what it is and now they're writing writing this letter right now it seems a bit off to me unless uh this committee never heard of that hearing or was not aware of it which they're part of the government now the second part here uh it goes on to say is this also changing now because uh, blackrock has given bitcoin mining the green light as we know and this is just factuals man i don't you know I'm not speculating or trying to say that it is what it is i'm just going to give you timeline of events as we know blackrock was the king of esg mm-hmm. we also know that esg is bullshit mm-hmm. we also know that the cleanest companies are actually not on the esg list tesla mm-hmm. bitcoin mining is not at the top of the esg list mm-hmm. which is crazy now we also see that the ESG's narrative has backfired and BlackRock has been backpedaling from that as hard as they can. And now they are starting a Bitcoin fund. Oh, they already started a Bitcoin fund for their private clients, mm-hmm. right? Something that they were saying that was dirty and is going to wreck the wall and all of that crazy stuff there. And after this has happened, we can now see that the House committee is now reaching out to... This, this is what I think will happen. The house community has now reached out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, because, because remember, if BlackRock now says it's cool, now they want to reach out. I want to point out that in this article, I want to highlight the fact that they said BlackRock has given Bitcoin mining the green light, not the government. Not the government. That should say something to people right there. This is what I think might happen here. They're going to send this thing. Obviously, all of these guys are already ready with the data. They've been gathering this information since forever. They're going to send it back. And the house community is going to be, oh, yeah, well, you know, if you do not meet these guys' standards, okay, like this is everything is clean. We have to meet these guys' standards for this to keep going on. Cool. Bitcoin mining can go on. That's what I think is going to happen. But it's just, again, it's social engineering, bro. It really has nothing to do with Bitcoin because no matter how they feel, no matter what they do, it's not like they can stop Bitcoin. There is nothing they can do. This is just flash of power for no reason. Because these guys could right now say, screw Bitcoin, it's not going to happen. And they still won't be able to stop it. So what are you talking about here? You so see what I'm saying? I, w- I would add to that timeline by saying, Blackboard came out with ESG. They made right. a bunch of noise with the old China situation as well. The price of Bitcoin drops, right? right. BlackRock says Bitcoin is fine. They want to get into the space. Bitcoin popped up a little bit, drops back down, right? Yeah. If BlackRock and the the Congress approves Bitcoin, big chances that Bitcoin will pop because just, just just look at the price, not 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 the technology, just yeah. the trades back and forth. And it always goes back to this 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 fact that has been proven over and over again. They manipulate and move the markets. Yeah. Not that they're manipulating and moving Bitcoin. What I'm just trying to say is that no matter what price of an asset is, if a big farm wants to enter, they have the tools, they have the media to help them get the price down low enough for them to enter back. They've true. done the same thing with uh, they've done the same thing with Tesla and they've done the same thing with Apple when they were ready to get in. So what, this is what I'm trying to say here. As a retail investor, right, there's a lot of noise in the space. You just have to believe in the technology. In this case, you're not believing in a company or a corporation, but you have yeah. to believe in the technology itself and just invest in it and let the noise play out. Because what basically has been going on here are people trying to figure out if they should get in or get, or get out. And those that want to get in will do everything possible to bring the price back down so they can get it. And they are probably choosing the base point or the baseline point for them to enter. And they will drive it exactly down to that price before it goes back up. Before it goes back up. Well, listen, man. I would like to see what other people's interpretation of this story is, right? Because uh, it's unusual how the sequence of events are unfolding. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think that, because we already know that the energy and you know, Bitcoin energy is, you know, they're using flared methane, right? Which is energy that would have been going to waste. They're yeah. using more renewable energy than most as we've based on all the research we see. And uh, so, what is the point here do you guys see a different angle of this situation and of course there's a whole OFAC thing which we, we didn't even get to we're not going to get into, yeah. into this video yeah. but give us your thoughts what do you think um any final thoughts before we close this one out sir 
No, I actually think it's this one, this this one, it's not as easy as you think. It's just mm. strategies playing out, and it's just up to us investors to, uh, or us believers to kind of read between the lines to figure out what's going on here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well then, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share. All of our handles are down below. As you can see, we now have a more aerodynamic and aesthetically pleasing set of handles down below. Until next time, brazen up. Double up.